Good morning, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Do keep in mind these readings are for entertainment purposes only, so take what speaks, leave what doesn't. If you enjoy this reading, then don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button and feel free to subscribe where you will be supporting the growth of the channel. But more importantly, guys, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel. If you would like to work with me, all those details will be in the show more section below. Um, and I am on other platforms as well, Pisces. So do take note of that. If you're interested in connecting with me on those other platforms, it's totally up to you. We will go into clarify some of these cards towards the end of this reading. And also um, we're going to take a look at look and see how your person is feeling towards you and all the situation as well. Okay, so uh, the cards coming through for you is the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Death card, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords reversed. With the Death card here, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. With the Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Now at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Five of Wands energy in reverse. This is what's influencing your relationship or your situation this week. When the Five of Wands is in reverse, this speaks to internal struggle. This speaks to tension or something brewing inside, okay? Um, so we'll see how this tension or this internal conflict is going to affect your relationship. I mean, we've even got the Knight of Swords here. Again, strong air energy happening here. Um, and when I when I when the Knight of Swords shows up, this is an energy of someone who rushes in very very quickly. Okay, and it can almost be the energy of a fool rushing in, because the Knight of Swords he doesn't really consider things. He doesn't really consider what he's about to say. He just rushes on ahead and says it. So it could be this week, Pisces, that there is um, a conversation or communication that is expressed, but it's not coming out the way it should. <laughs> okay, things might not be said the way they are felt because um, I'm getting unclarity here. Okay, now I know I understand the Knight of Swords is in the upright and this sword is pointing to the air, but when it's touching the Five of Wands in reverse, this is unclear communication. This is misaligned energies because this is someone saying something and doing the opposite here. So this is misaligned energies. It may feel this week, Pisces, that someone isn't within their integrity. It's like doing one thing, saying another, like which is it going to be? But we'll see how the rest of the cards tie in. Um, I feel with the Ace of Pentacles, someone here wants a new beginning or someone really wants something to work out here. Maybe with someone from the past with the Death card. This could speak to someone that maybe you cut out of your life here. I mean, with the Queen of Swords, she doesn't take any BS. Uh, maybe you've had words with this individual. Maybe you continue to have words with this individual in the upcoming week. I feel Pisces, the Queen of Swords, she's a very understanding queen. And I feel that that queen is representing you. Okay, so I feel in the situation you're going to try and come in and be very understanding toward your partner or the person that you're connecting with. You want to understand their motives. You want to understand their intentions. You want to understand their actions this week. Because remember, five of wands in reverse and the knight of swords, this is someone that, you know, energies are not aligning here. If there is someone that has walked away from you or is considering letting go here, you want to understand why. Mm, so I see here 
you want something to work out here. You're trying your best to be fair in the current situation. But with the Death card and the Nine of Swords here, I see a clear ending. I see cutting ties or cutting cords or a walking away energy. I see someone surrendering to accept that this is the end. Maybe it's you, Pisces. Maybe it's you putting something to an end. Maybe it's you that's saying, I'm not going to tolerate this. I'm cutting this out. It could be that your person is stressing out here or losing sleep because you've been as understanding as you could be up to this point. But now you know with the death card that it's time to make a change. It's time to make a change and that change starts with you. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to me, this is a failed attempt to get something really happening here. Because those Ten of Pentacles are in reverse. For some of you, this may speak to a divorce. Uh, if you're married, it could speak to a separation. It could speak to a divorce. It could speak to alimony. But this is a dynamic crumbling, not working out, falling away, which could be, again, with the Five of Swords in reverse, creating internal conflict. Let's get some clarity on the Five of Swords, shall we? I feel with this Five of Swords sitting underneath the Ace of Pentacles that someone is afraid to really speak their truth here. I feel like someone wants a new beginning. Someone wants this to really work out. But look at this. You can't make this up, guys. Ace of Pentacles to clarify the Five of Swords. So it's literally uh, confirming what I'm saying here. I feel like with the Five of Swords in reverse, this is an unwillingness to speak one's truth. Someone is struggling to speak up about how they really feel in the current situation. And I feel that this person wants a new beginning or they want this to really work out. But when the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse... This is an unsuccessful attempt to get this thing going or to make things work. Let's get some clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. I hope this is making sense, Pisces, because it really doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure it's going to make sense to one of you out there. Okay, we've got Three of Swords. This is really, this is a real sad time. Um because there was a lot of love in this situation, but a judgment call is being made. I feel like, yeah, I feel there is a conversation here. Um, someone has decided that it looks like it's the end of the road, or it's best just to leave on good terms. Let's get some clarity on the Nine of Swords. Yeah, because when the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse, Pisces, this is clearly things are not working out. This is a sign that someone is pulling the pin. Okay, someone doesn't want to continue on in this connection or in this relationship if it's not going to improve and it's not going to get better. And clearly here when the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse, this isn't a situation that isn't going to get better. It's not going to get better. All the pentacles in this spread are reversed. It's a real struggle. Let's get some clarity on the Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Yeah, like I can't even go in to clarify these cards anymore because it's pretty straightforward, Pisces. So the High Priestess here is someone is holding back. Okay, the High Priestess knows the truth. Okay, but the truth isn't being spoken. Okay, it could be on your mind. I mean, this Ace of Pentacles is 
sitting behind the Queen of Swords. So it's not really spoken about. What is being spoken about is an ending, is an ending here. We're speaking about endings. We're speaking about change. Um, the topic here, the topic of conversation between you and your person is, do we let this go? So let's take a look and see how your person feels, Pisces. Okay. Page of Swords. Hmm. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your person feels like they want to ask questions. That's how I'm getting. They want to ask you questions. They, they want to talk. Um, let's get some more cards before this one wanted to come out. Look at this. Eight of Cups. They want to talk about why things are not working out. Because the Eight of Cups is the energy of someone not feeling fulfilled here. Okay, this relationship isn't making me happy anymore. This connection isn't making me happy anymore. Can we please talk about why this is happening? Okay, it's also the card of walking away. We can see the back of this man. He's thinking about moving forward. I see the sign of Pisces here. Interesting, hey? Maybe it's you, Pisces, that is thinking of walking away. Okay, you want to walk away. You want to leave this situation behind you. you you're done. You've had enough. But it could be causing you some kind of headache, worry and stress and anxiety. It's okay. I'll take the card that flipped over and it is the four of swords. So I feel like your person wants to talk to you about this ending, um, about walking away. But the four of swords tells me here that they're also afraid to at the same time. They need just some more time to maybe reflect or think about it. Okay, your person may go into be quiet, maybe stop talking to you or maybe just retreat, not say too much right now because they're really, really thinking hard on how they're going to approach the situation with you here. Okay. Let's get some clarity on the Four of Swords. This person is resting on their, on their laurels here. Spirit Angels and Guides. They definitely want to get rid of anything toxic or negative in this connection. They want to release the negativity. Okay, but I see this Queen of Cups here. She's holding this chalice very obsessively. So um, this person is obsessing over the current situation. And they, they want to free themselves from that because they're seeing this obsession, obsessive thoughts. Um, it's, it's, it's burning them out. It's exhausting them. It's, it's tiring them out. Let's get some clarity on the Page of Swords. Spirit, angels and guides, can we get some clarity? Yeah, they're not speaking right now. They want to ask you questions. I want to talk about this ending, but they... They're not. Knight of Swords in reverse. Could be hasty moves. They might feel like you're being hasty or impulsive here. Because, um, you know, when the Knight of Swords is in reverse, this is someone who really isn't thinking things through correctly. Okay, this is just someone who's being very hasty with their actions, um, being very hurtful with their words. Mm. And maybe that's why, that's why here, Pisces, you might want to walk away or this person wants to walk away because it's, that's not going to make anybody happy. So there we have it, Pisces, that's your reading. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. I do hope you found clarity within this reading as well. And until next time, guys, take care.